Paraffin Wax is a lovely luxury treatment that you can use as a mask on the hands, the feet, the back, the face. We use a paraffin wax bath to warm it up and as it's a soft wax it's got a low melting point and then what we can do is use it as it cools very quickly in the skin in nice thin layers just to build it up and set it on the skin, let it cool and as it cools on the client it hardens and then we can remove it and it leaves a lovely soft skin. If you think about it, it's a bit similar to when you dip the tip of your finger into candle wax and it sets very quickly. It's the same sort of principle, but obviously it's a professional treatment. Paraffin wax has been used for centuries as a relaxing heat treatment and we use it in our profession to aid relaxation, but it's also used in the medical profession to help the treatment of any pain and ailments. Examples could be rheumatoid arthritis. It's a really popular luxury treatment and we do use it in a lot of manicures and pedicures. It's also quite often used in facials, which is why we would use the gauze as a protective base. We would also make sure that we put cotton wool over the eyes so there's no danger that we could get any paraffin wax into the eyes. What we do is use lots of different fragrances of pellets and some examples that we have could be tea tree, lavender, peach, citrus. They will have different benefits as they'll have aromatherapy oils in them, but if anyone doesn't like fragrances or they're quite ir irritated quite easily, then we can use fragrance free. What we tend to do, not everyone, but quite a lot of us use pellets because they're easier to melt than blocks, although you can obviously use blocks, but it means that if you don't have a lot of time, you can pop the pellets in the heater and because they're smaller, they tend to melt a little bit quicker. When we're doing paraffin wax, it's best to have an oil base on the skin. So you might choose to do it after a hand and arm massage, after a foot massage or a face mask that leaves an oily base because it's a lot easier to slide it off when you're finished. Um, as we said, if we're doing it on the face, we just make sure that we protect the eyes and the gauze makes sure that it's not directly on the skin and it's a lot easier to remove. When it cools, it's so easy just to remove it from the client, uh, pick off any residue. You can even use a little bit of oil if you need to slide off any paraffin wax residue. And then it's extremely easy just to move on to the next step of your treatment. So we're going to show you an example of using it yourself on your hands and also using it on a client during a pedicure. So the equipment that you'll need to carry out a paraffin wax treatment is your paraffin wax heater, sometimes called your paraffin wax bath, your paraffin wax of choice, which could be in pellet or block form. You need some sort of bowl so that you can remove the paraffin wax from the heater. Some people will still dip hands and feet in, but because of cross-contamination now, a lot of people will opt to use a bowl. And a great trick is to actually coat it with tin foil or cling film so that it doesn't stick to the bowl and you have to then spend time removing it. It's easier just to then remove the cling film and the tin foil and just put that straight into your bin. Because of this, you might choose to use a ladle just to remove it for easiness from your wax bath. You'll also need some tin foil cling film or bags so that you can then wrap the hand or the foot while the paraffin wax mask is setting. If you're doing it on the face, this is where the cotton gauze comes in extremely handy. And then finally, your application is through a brush. So you'll see we have very different sizes here, the smaller for the face, the medium for the hands and the feet. And if you choose to do it somewhere like the back, it makes more sense to have a large brush because it's such a wide surface area that you'd be spending a lot of time if you were using a smaller brush. So in all honesty, if your salon supplier doesn't do the large brushes, then yes, you can go to a DIY shop and just make sure that you buy a nice soft brush for application on a large area such as the back. So first of all, we're going to show you how to do paraffin wax on your own hand. And this is just if you were doing a DIY treatment at home. Very easy to then translate this to working with a client. Um, just always be aware of health and safety. And when it's your own wax heater at home, you could dip your hand in and out of the paraffin wax. But as we've said, with cross-contamination and the risk of infection, it's best just to get used to using the method by painting it on in layers. So to show you how easy it is, I've just basically done a quick moisturisation on my own hand. You can do the self hand massage, you can watch one of our tutorials for that. So I've got the layer of oil on the skin and now I'm just going to use my dispensed paraffin wax. I've already tested the temperature on myself to make sure it's not too hot. 
It will be temperature controlled, but it's always best to do a little temperature check just in case it's too hot. And then all you're doing is just brushing it on in layers. Yes, it is going to clog up, that doesn't matter. It's all about getting the layers on. Feels lovely and relaxing to your client and normally the, the scent comes straight into the room. They can't believe how lovely and warm it is. A good tip for yourself or for a client is to ask them to keep their fingers close together. Um, it's just because it's a lot easier to then remove at the end. So you're just taking your time and building it up. What you'll find is when you do take the paraffin wax out and dispense it into your chosen dish, it does start to cool very quickly. But again, it's not an attractive looking treatment. It's all about getting the heat into the skin, warming up the tissues, warming up the muscles and helping to relax your client. So just take your time and build it up. Completely okay if little bits flake off. That's just the nature of the treatment. make sure you cover each area. If your client's never had this done before or you're doing it on yourself, I can't explain how lovely and warm it feels. It's just such a relaxing thing to have done. But again, like any treatment, there's always the chance of allergies. So if anyone may have any allergies to the ingredients within it, maybe you've got the scented paraffin wax, then just always be careful to do a little patch test, get them in to visit you, or if it's you doing it on yourself, do a little patch test 24 to 48 hours beforehand. So I'm quite happy with how that's looking just now. So again, we've chosen to use the cling film, but you may choose to use the bags or tin foil. So you're just very carefully turning the hand over and it's exactly the same on the other side. Just taking your time, building it up, as you'll see, your brush does get messy, it does clog up, but don't worry about that because we're going to show you as part of the tutorial exactly how to clean your brush the easiest possible way. But without telling you any lies, it is a slow process to clean your brush, so unless you want to throw them out and get a new one every time, it's going to take you a little bit of time just to remove the residue, but there are some easy ways to do it, so we're going to show you how. So. Again, just build that up. Normally you're talking about three to five layers. I'm speeding this up more than I would do normally, but just take your time and make sure that it's nice and evenly coated because you want to get the best results. And also if it's more evenly coated, it's a lot easier to remove. Right, so once you've finished, all you do is just securely wrap up the hand. Again, if it was the bag, you just slot the hand into the bag. But now all you're going to do is move on to the other hand. Now, realistically, when it's a client, it's very easy just to move on straight away. When it's yourself, do one hand, give it the full 10 to 15 minutes and remove, and then do the second hand. So I'm just going to give that its full 15 minutes and then show you how easy it is to remove. So removing your paraffin wax treatment mask is very easy. Um, some clients may even prefer the option of having the mask on and then using a heated mitt. But either way, the residual heat just very slowly cools and to the point where your client doesn't actually feel it's gone cool completely. It just feels so relaxing and warm. If you're doing it on yourself, then you just start to wriggle your hands about and see if the mask wants to release itself. If you're doing it on a client, you're just inspecting it to make sure that it looks as if it's going to remove easily. Even if it doesn't come off in one go, it's very easy just to pick off the residue and even use a little bit of oil if you have to just to break it down. But what you're doing is just grabbing the edge and you're very gently sliding the hand out. Again, sometimes it comes off all in one go, other times just as you're removing it, you're just catching any bits as you see them. What you will find though is the little bits of residue can just go onto your towels, which is why you never want to use anything expensive because paraffin wax can stick to things and it can be quite tricky to remove. Not impossible, oil is the trick, but you'd rather not get yourself into that situation. So as we can see, the majority of the mask is off. If you didn't want to use your towels to do this, then get yourself some bedroll and then just dust it all off. 
Some people also use just a dry brush just to get rid of any residue. And then what you'll see is the hand will be noticeably healthier than the other because you've boosted the circulation, you've warmed it up. What a lot of people will then choose to do is either use some oil or use some sponges, just get rid of this residue and then they can move on to the next stage of the manicure. If you're just doing it for yourself for a hand treatment, then you can just go and even give your hands a quick wash. All of this can just be rolled up, taken to your waste bin, make sure all the residue is put in one place. What you wouldn't want to do is put this straight into your washing machine because you could clog it up. So ideally, if you are working with anyone and you're concerned that you're gonna have lots of waste, bedroll is your answer. But now we can just move on and do our other hand. It's that easy. So this is a quick demo on how to do a paraffin wax mask on a foot during a pedicure treatment. So you could do this on yourself, but we've chosen to show you on a client so we've got variation. If you've already seen the paraffin wax on the hand, you'll see that we did this. It was me on myself and we used cling film, which is very similar to when you use the bags that may be provided by your paraffin wax suppliers. Um, to give you some variation, we'll show you how you can use tin foil for the same thing. Um, a lot of people choose to use it because it's flexible, it's cheap, it's easy to use, plus it also traps the heat for that little bit longer and it's also easy to remove. Um, what we've done is Given the foot the massage, we've done the pedicure so far, so we've made sure that the massage medium, which is an oil in this case, there's still some residue here, and that's so that when we remove the paraffin wax mask, it should slide off quite easily. So we've decanted some paraffin wax, and now it's just a case of building up the layers on the foot. So the slight difference here is that you can't obviously turn the foot round too easily, so you're working on top of the foot, and then you're moving below. So you've checked the temperature with your client, and it should feel nice and warm and relaxing. So all you're doing now is building up the layers. And again, it's not a pretty looking treatment. So don't worry if it looks like it might be patchy because you're building up these layers and the end result is going to be perfect. As we said in previous treatments, it can be a little bit messy. So just be sure that you don't use your best towels in the salon. Also be sure that your client doesn't have anything valuable nearby because sometimes little bits of paraffin wax can go flying into the air and landing on expensive skirts and trousers so you want to be very careful. When we were doing the hand we asked the client to make sure that they hold their fingers together. This is obviously a lot easier with the foot because your toes naturally sit a certain way so you're just making sure that you cover everything evenly. So we're just working our way around, we can go over the toes and again for cleaning your brush at the end we have a tutorial for that too because sometimes that can be a very tricky thing to do and a lot of people don't know the best way to clean their brushes so be sure to watch that tutorial too. So just taking your time building it up. And again you're aiming for normally three to five layers. If anyone was concerned if they were doing a male client because they do have hair involved, then because you have your oil or your massage medium base there, the paraffin wax is going to slide off. Some people are concerned that it's like a hair removal treatment. So as long as you make them aware that it's actually a relaxation mask and it's not anything painful, it's actually the opposite, it's very relaxing. So once we've done that, you're just going to very gently wrap up the foot and trap the heat. And again, some people then choose to put a booty on, even a heated booty. Um, it's completely up to yourself what you'd rather do. And um, what you're going to do is get the client to relax their leg, do the other foot, and then it's about 10 to 15 minutes until it's completely cool and it's ready to remove. 
So your client's had their full relaxation time with their foot mask on and it's now time to release it. So some people get their client just to very gently wiggle their toes and they can tell if it's actually started to loosen. But either way, it's nice and easy to remove. So all you do is you support the foot underneath and then you very gently start to slide the mask off. As you're sliding the mask off, you can see if there's any areas that you're just going to need to run over soon. As I've said before, it is quite a messy treatment, so don't be concerned if you have to pick up lots of wax residue after you're done. There we go, and we just get some little bits of residue here that we can just remove very carefully. And then what you can do is just remove any excess and then continue on with the rest of your treatment. So this is a quick tip on how to clean your brushes when you've been using them with paraffin wax. It's a great treatment, it's a lovely relaxing treatment, but it is one that takes ages to clean your brushes, so be prepared, there's no quick fix. So showing you how to do it today can't be in real time because it is quite a time consuming thing to do. But this is typically what your brush looks like once you finish doing a treatment. It solidifies very quickly. It's got a lot of the layers of paraffin wax on it. And what some people try to do, and it is reasonably effective, is to use boiling water just to break it down. The trick is to get some of your massage oil, um, grapeseed oil, anything like that, and be careful not to absorb the brush too far into it because what you don't want to do is break down the glue that keeps the bristles in, but use enough that you can actually sit the bristles in that have got the majority of the paraffin wax on them. And some people choose to warm this oil a little bit too, that can be quite effective. But what you're going to do is leave it for about five minutes, let the oil start to break down the paraffin wax, and then it is a case of taking out your brush and very gently starting to manipulate the bristles. It, you will get there in the end, it is a slow process, but what we'll do is show you sped up how it starts to look after a few minutes. So here we are, we're just a few minutes in, so we've let the brush soak for a few moments in the oil and then you're very gently manipulating the paraffin wax out of the bristles. It does take time. So again, you might get so far and then decide that it just needs another few minutes in the oil, but this tends to be more effective than the hot water because sometimes the hot water can actually compact the paraffin wax into the brush and make it a little bit harder for you to do. So just in a matter of moments, we've went from one solid brush to getting our flexibility back and now it's just a case of very gently working paraffin wax out of the bristles. Once you've done that it's quite easy just to then work it off the main body of the brush and then you can sanitize it ready for use with your next client.